Welcome back to Enhanced Investor. Today is Wednesday, January 10th, 2018. And today's video is going to run a little bit long because there's a lot I want to talk about. And most importantly, I want to go over a few things that have changed in the cryptocurrency market and how you should best react to it. Of course, disclaimer, all of your trades are your own. But with the cryptocurrency market as it is in December of 2017, or as it was in December of 2017, it seemed almost everybody was making money. Everybody was taking a $500 account and becoming a millionaire overnight. It was a frenzy. And unfortunately, for the, for the traders, that frenzy's over. For the investors, it's a really good thing. I'll explain that in a little bit. But not everything is going up anymore. There's value that is just kind of there. Nobody's really sure why or where it comes from. There's coins that are absolute trash, and they still are valued at a billion dollars market cap or $500 million, and it doesn't make any sense. And with the next few months, you're going to see coins start to drift away and the market cap's going to drop and people are going to start losing a lot of money because they're still trading on the old way, on the December 2017 way of everything goes up and you can't lose money. So let's go into a few things that will keep you from losing all of your money. So number one, on the trader side, I say don't have more than 30% of your account in any one position, whether that be Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Tron, it, it doesn't matter. Don't put more than you can handle. That's the number one rule. I like to use about 30% as my max, sometimes 40 once a position's gone up a little bit. But the more you put into a position, the more stressful that position becomes. Because let's say you're 100% in Ripple and Ripple pulls back 30%. For investors, that's amazing because that means you can buy a little more. It's a healthy pullback. For traders, oh my god, you just lost a full 30%. So you have to really think about that and go, what, what position size can I handle to not make irrational decisions? So that's rule number one. Rule number two is even more important than rule number one. That is, don't chase a pump. There's a lot of pump and dump groups. I'm sure you've been advertised by random people messaging you in Discord saying, hey, join this pump and dump group and you'll become a millionaire. Well, the reality of pump and dump groups is the people who pay the admin or the owner of the pump and dump group, they get the first alert. They get in the position and then the admin puts out tier two and alerts to the tier two people and says this is our next pump and it starts going up and the tier one people start making money and then the tier three people get their alerts and then the tier four people get their alerts and then everybody gets their alerts so if you're in a pump and dump group and you're not paying the owner or the admin a lot of money you're gonna be losing money because you're the last person to get that alert the chart looks great because it's been going up for a week but it's been pumping for a week, and the people who are pumping it know that. They know that you're going to buy in, and that's just going to increase the amount of volume and the amount of money that's coming in, and you're going to lose. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of discords do. It's one reason why I personally really love Enhanced Investor. We have one membership. Trialists see the exact same things as the crypto membership, and when their trial's up, they can either join or they can leave, no problem. But we're not going to create multiple tiers of you get the alerts first, blah, blah, blah. It's all in general chat. Because I personally, and so does Kevin, we hate pump and dumps. We love investments that go up for the right reasons. We love making money. That's normal. But we're not going to do that at the expense of other people. That's just bad karma, bad trading, and that's no way to create a business. So, of course, if you'd like to check out the Enhanced Investor Discord, there's a link for that in the description below. But let's move on. Number three, this is a personal thing of mine. Um, you can agree or disagree with it as you are. But I believe that holding long-term, medium-term, holding in general on the right cryptocurrencies, this, that, and the other, is far more profitable than day trading. Day trading, yes, you can get the 100, 200% profits, even up to, what, 15,000% on Tron. You can get that type of profit. 
by day trading. But you have to have a lot of, one, self-discipline to not sell. And two, you have to have a lot of money to start with that. You can day trade $500 and double it and double it and double it. But it's going to be a lot easier to put 250 here, 200 there, 50 there, whatever. So take that with a grain of salt. That's a personal belief of mine. And so far, it's done pretty well. The second part about that is we're not in the December 2017 market anymore. You can't just throw all of your money at a coin that you just learned about, that you haven't done any research, that you haven't read the white paper, and expect it to go up. Unfortunately, the market is not like that anymore. It's not going to continue to go up with everything, shit coins included, going to the moon. So, do some research. Which leads me into number four. Do your research. If you find a coin, Ripple, something top 100, top 1,000, whatever, there's over, what, 1,300, 13, 1,400 coins or more right now. More keep popping up from ICOs all the time. Not all of them are going to be successful. Not all of them have projects that are backed up by data. And more importantly, hardly any of them are solving an important real-world problem. You've heard me discuss multiple times on Ripple, for example. The Ripple Net, although not the currency, the Ripple Net is solving the problem of finance, moving money back and forth quickly with very little fees. That is a real-world problem. Some of these other coins are not real-world problems. So take your positions accordingly, do research. You can find out a lot about the company or the project from their white paper. Do the research, make an educated decision. If you don't know what you're looking for, ask me. Join the Enhanced Investor Free Trial. Go in, direct message me. Ask me your questions. I can help you find coins that are good, that are not crap, have an actual purpose behind them, and you're wondering, okay, why would I help you out for free? Well, I'm not helping you out for free. If you find a coin that's really good, and I like it, and I see a project that has potential, I'll buy it myself. So you're bringing me a coin. If it's bad, now I've prevented you and myself from losing money. So it's a win-win. So ask your questions. Do that. It's very important. All right, the next one. Learn how to recognize FOMO. You've heard it time and time again. You see a coin going up to the moon, Stellar, Tron, whatever. Don't be the guy who gets in on the vertical candle just using technicals. You don't know anything about the project, sit on the sidelines. Watch a few of these FOMO coins. Watch how they react. Watch how they move. You're going to see that if you got in that position and you just kind of let it sit there because it was going to the moon, you'd have lost money. When XRP got up to the $2.50 range and then 3 and then three fifty, that was FOMO. Now it's sitting at about $2 to $2.30 and all of the FOMO buyers are in a loss. So, don't chase a coin just because it's moving. It's a dangerous game. It was semi-profitable in the December 2017 market. It is very not profitable right now. All right, that brings us into the number six, I guess you could call it, yeah, into number six, and that is not all people are making money in this market. Yes, a lot of people were making money in the 2017 market, and that's because there was a lot of influx of new traders. Everybody at their corporate offices, the, the coin-based referral was going around and everybody was going, oh my god, I'm going to buy Bitcoin and become a billionaire. No, everybody was late. And those who got into altcoins before they were pumped, that's where the money was. So realize that a lot of people are losing money. And it's because they're not doing any research. They're just following. So you got to do your own research. You got to look at the coin and go, okay, what is this solving? All right, now to the FOMO part two, I want to talk about sitting on the sidelines part two. If you see a coin that is moving and it's out of control, don't go into it. Or take a 5% of your account position, whatever. Don't put a lot of money on it. One, if you have a tiny 5% of your account position, whatever, and you can watch it a little bit better, you can see what's going on, it's easier to watch it if you have money on the line. But don't don't jump into it. If you have to, 
just sit on the sidelines, watch it go to the moon, and then watch it fall all the way back to all the way back down to Earth, and then be happy that you aren't losing money. So that is the general rules that I like to work with. Nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated. It's just trying to watch out for yourself. Watch out for the buddy next to you, a good friend who's getting into crypto just now and thinking it's still a December 2017 market. It's very important. The last thing I will say is if you are investing, not day trading, try to look at your portfolio no more than once or twice a day. It'll drive you insane. If you have, an, if you have a position that is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent of your account, you're going to find that you're looking at your portfolio 10, 20, 30 times a day, and you're going to be super stressed, and that's not going to help your life in general. You're just going to be way too stressed. So take manageable positions, look at your account maybe once or twice a day, and just enjoy it. Enjoy life as well. You don't have to do trading as every single thing. So that's all I've got for you today. A few, I guess it was seven, whatever, really simple things that you can use. I'll put a link in the description below to a Reddit page that has basically the same stuff I talked about organized with a lot of data that explains why it all matters. If that's something you'd like to read, that will be linked in the description below. Of course, if you have any questions for me, if you would like help with research, if you just have a general, hey, what's up? What are your thoughts on this? I answer those. I will never give you a price target because that's something that a pump and dump group would go and say, oh, this coin is going to be worth $10. Based on what? What data? The fact that they want it to be $10 so you'll buy in? I'm never going to give you a price target. I'll say either this has intrinsic value or it doesn't. That's simple as that. So just keep that in mind. Become a better trader. Become a better investor. Whatever system works best for you. If you don't have a system yet, try both. See which one is less stressful which one makes more money, etc. So just do that. I know this video went a little bit uh, a little bit long, but that's okay, 12, 12 and a half minutes here. So without further ado, I am Aaron from the EI team, signing out, and happy trading.